Hello, I'm Dr. Anil Gode. I'm one of the consultants in reproductive medicine surgery at the Homerton Center. And today we're doing this course in Dubai. And I thought we will uh, look at a few areas which are very interesting and which are equally convey the concept of recruitment of follicles. Now the commonest question I get asked is, how you, do you decide on which drug works the best? And how do you decide which drug may fail? And that's a very diffi difficult, and a, a difficult answer to give you. Because it's effectively it means that I'm, I, you want me to devise something that says that with this scenario or this present number of follicles or this is how the ovary looks and this is what the, the parameters are and that will give you a much better idea of how you decide to stimulate the ovary. Now I'll tell you one thing I've devised a, a triangle and this has been going on for about three to four years where I've tried to modify it and what it is telling me is it tells me something more about how the ovary works. So let's look at it in this way. Now, if that's the ovary and you have a triangle in the ovary, now I jokingly call this the goody triangle. Now, what you're looking for is you're looking for an interaction. An interaction to say that there is a, the aim of the ovary is to produce an egg. The ovary does something very, very dramatic, something which you don't see in any other organ. And so what does it do? It has multiple small preantral follicles and primordial follicles, very, very small. And this is, in fact, to simplify the stimulation. And you see antral follicles, which can be seen on a scan, and the bigger ones. So what happens in nature? In nature, you see a certain number of follicles go into atresia, and I call it the invisible death of follicles, following nature's curve towards atresia, and you see a recruitment of follicles, which is a visible recruitment. And the same thing tends to happen. From here, you see the death of follicles into atresia, and you see a successful move towards ovulation. And this is a unique charter, and this is a, this is a, a mechanism which is happening continuously. It happens non-stop. And if you look at the physiology of this entire concept, there is one ovulatory cycle, but women tend to go through a biphasic recruitment or a triphasic recruitment. And that is something which you have to understand: is recruitment is a continuous process. It and that is, we have probably got very close to it, or maybe at the best biphasic, or maybe triphasic in, in some times. So what does this triangle tell you? A triangle tells you that if you make a count of 10 millimeter and 2 millimeter, antral follicles are arranged in two sets. Follicles which are more than 4 millimeter and follicles that are less than 4 millimeter. Your stimulation regimes will tell you to a large extent on how many follicles are present over 4 mm. Why? Because one, the, the, the effect of their AMH is relatively less. So let's digress back and move back a bit and say, well, what holds these follicles down? And we come across this concept of physics now, of resistance versus, versus force. So what is, the, what is the entire concept of the ovary? The ovary faces a resistance, a resistance which is imposed by AMH, which holds follicles down. And FSH is the force that overcomes that resistance. So whilst AMH pushes follicles down, FSH pushes them up. Follicles that are closer to the top recruit much better. Follicles that are lower down traditionally are not meant for that cycle 
and they are not meant for the follicular phase. In the induction of ovulation, they are meant for the mid follicular phase or the luteal phase. So they don't tend to grow. So again, if you have a look and if you see more follicles in this zone, your oral agents work. If you see more follicles in this zone, chronic low-dose protocols tend to work. If you see more follicles in this zone, your stimulation is going to be incredibly challenging. And why would I say use this over? It use this format. This format effectively starts making you understand that relationship between the resistance that comes through and that resistance is measured by AMH and LH and effectively what force you apply. And then you have to divide this into induction of ovulation where you want one to two follicles or ovarian stimulation where you want more follicles. So again, I've just spent two hours trying to tell people, let's challenge your concepts. Let's look at what nature does. Let's effectively blast through certain co confusing or rather formatted ideas which don't move. And this is one of them. This is understanding. And your entire stimulation will su be successful if you understand the relationship between AMH, which is the force that keeps follicles down, and the FSH that pushes follicles up. How do you give it? Do you? We can give it in a pulsatile manner by modifying nature, clomiphene, letrozole, tamoxifen. Or you can reach the FSH level very high and faster by chronic low dose protocol. Two beautiful concepts, both using very different concepts of raising the FSH standard and raising the force. Have a think again. Draw this triangle, measure the follicles, and you'll find stimulation easier and rather easier to explain. Thank you.